Hello, my name is Patricia Kopp. I work as a product manager in the business development for vacuum components at Schmalz. Today I'm going to show you how to program a compact ejector of type SCPS. The new generation of compact ejectors from Schmalz combines a wide number of innovations in an extremely small device. From the automatic air saving function to the user-friendly display screen and to comprehensive condition monitoring. Compact ejectors from Schmalz are an essential component for efficiency and performance in fast pick-and-place processes. The new generation is available either as a basic model SCPS with LED bar display or as an intelligent version SCPSI with display screen and additional I.O. link technology. Please have a look at the user manual before you use the ejector to ensure safe and failure-free installation. Before we start programming the SCPS, I will shortly show you the control elements. The operating element has LED display bar for highly visible display of important vacuum parameters. The single bars are marked with percentages. Among LEDs for switching points H1 and H2, there are LEDs for process conditions suction and blow up. With only three buttons, the operation is easy and the user menu is intuitive. Let's start programming the SCPS. If the bar max is blinking, it shows that voltage is applied. To set switching points H1 and air saving function, the menu button has to be pressed. H1 is blinking and can be set by pushing up and down buttons. A value of 75% correspond to a vacuum value of 750 millibar. The hysteresis is 20% of H1 or H1 minus H2 minus 25 millibar. By pressing the menu button once again, you can set further values such as part present signal and the blow off time. Blow off time is also set by using the bar displays. Values for the blow off time can be taken from your user manual. A blow off time of 20% corresponds, for example, to a blow off time of 50 milliseconds. By setting H1 to maximum, the air saving function is deactivated. Manual blow off can be achieved by setting the blow off time to zero. You can switch to the manual operation mode by pressing the up and down button at the same time for more than three seconds. The manual operation mode is used for setup of the system. Flashing of LED H1 and H2 shows that you are in the manual operation mode. In this mode you can suck by pushing the up button and blow off by pushing the down button. The strength of the blow off pulse can be adjusted with this throttle screw. Now you know how to program compact ejectors of type SCPS. Thank you very much for your attention. Further information can be found at www.schmalz.com.